Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the show. In this episode we're gonna take a look at the two new guns that will come uh, in the battle pass for free in season 2. These guns are the KGM-40 and the Whitley light machine gun LMG. So how do I have access to them? Well, you have also access to them. You just need to go in a private game and there they are, you know. You can put whatever attachments on it, but you can only play against bots. So today we're gonna test them out and see how they feel because, you know, rank is uh, coming so we need to know if these guns are worth you know spending the time with them i'm still gonna upgrade them because i need to make videos for you guys who knows they might get buffed but this is just f uh, first impression so let's uh, build some guns you know and see how they feel starting with the kgm 40 let's see so i see you have the usual stuff you know the usual muzzles so i'm gonna go you know how i usually build uh, the others that feels good i'm not gonna put yet the recoil uh, booster because i want to see the normal fire rate you know so i'm gonna stick with the silencer underbell i mean you cannot go wrong with the carver floor grip right barrel let's see something special highly controllable reduce uh, scope nope i mean I guess you can go with that, but this one I feel is much better. You have also bullet velocity. This one is for fire rate. I think you can modify it to make it uh, some kind of uh, SMG, but we'll see. And you have a burst one. So i guessing the third barrel. I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm going to go with this one. Let's see the magazines. I'm guessing you have uh, 20. 25, yeah. You have 25 in a normal mag. This is the Sakura 35. Recoil, yeah. The okay, so you have this one as well. This is for more damage. I'm gonna go for the Sakura, even though, I mean, this is the normal uh, magazine that you're most likely gonna use, let's be honest. Ammo type, we're gonna go with the Lake Net. Let's go with the Polymer, Proficiency. Okay, you have Vital and Gunho. Vital. Uh, yeah, this is kind of boring, but we're gonna go on, with, on hand. Stock. Mm. I don't have a bit, I, I like to have a bit you know more mobility with it so i think we're gonna go with the padded anyways we I think we're gonna go with the padded one because i need more mobility i like to have more mobility even if i use an ar for now i'm gonna leave uh, the iron side just to see how it feels but i'm guessing we're gonna put a side on it right so this is the kg now let's see the whittling this this looks so unique i love it okay so we're gonna go with the usual stuff K barrel I'm guessing this one, but either the Gracie MK9 or the Ragdoll. Yeah, definitely between these two. I mean, you can go also with the Gracie Rapid, depending on the... Okay, this we're going to test it out, but for now, let's go with the Ragdoll. Carver, but I'm feeling this is an LMG. I need to be a bit... I need it to be a bit more zippy, so I'm going to go with the hand stop. Magazine, okay, baby. Let's see. Let's go with a forty five. Let's see how it feels. Like Ned. Oh, polymer. Actually, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the leather grip to have uh, more ADS. Well, as I said, we're gonna modify it. This is just uh, the first impression, you know. Icy veins. On hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, the R4 optic. I'm not gonna put anything on it just yet. So this is it. Also, these are the new perks. We have uh, armory. Use equipment faster. Your equipment is immune to the engineer perk and uh, can be hacked or viewed through walls. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but hey, it's there. Intuition. This is very interesting. Never use it. We're gonna see how it feels. I don't know if you can do it in uh, private, but if not, we're gonna test it out when uh, everything goes live, you know. And overkill, I needed 
even though we have mechanic, but feel the great charge 20% faster. I mean, yeah. We also have the sticky bomb. Very curious to see how that goes, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, let's go into the game. Okay, so I set up a, a team here of bots, including myself. Let's see how this gun stacks up. Okay, the bots I set up to regular. I didn't want it to be like noobs, you know. Okay, so this is uh, the KG one. Okay, the aim down side speed is not bad. It's not bad at all, and the iron sand is not bad at all as well. Okay, this is the LMG. Ooh, looks nice. Looks uh, looks big and beefy. Oh my god, man! This is a laser, bro. Very fast. Uh... Come on. I think these two guns are amazing, man. So far, our lasers. Let's okay. Let's let's test them out. Get over here, kid. Jesus. That bot actually sniped my ass! Ooh, baby, this feels amazing! This is crazy good! Okay, the... The ADS is, and also, you know, the time to, that a bullet actually came out, is uh, very different, very slow, I mean it's an LMG, what do you expect, it's not an SMG, Jesus. Feels amazing. It feels amazing, both of them. Let's switch up uh, the build a bit and see what else we can do with it. So with the assault rifle, I modified it in such a way that uh, it's actually like an SMG, you know. Fire rate is uh, as fast as possible with this uh, build, as you can see guys. And I also put uh, incendiary, you know. Also put in a uh, gun hole. And let's see how it feels. With the LMG, I did uh, something similar, but not exactly, you know. So I'm testing the Rico booster, the Gracie Rapid barrel, and uh, the magazine that actually has uh, more damage, bullet velocity, and have uh, 150 rounds in that mag. All right, all right, all right. The ADS is, uh, you feel it's faster. Okay, the Rico is uh, tougher. Wait, over, but this is for close range. Okay, let's see uh, the LMG. Oh, oh, this is, this is bad, bro. This is not it. Let's. I'm gonna try. Um, I have something for the ADS already. Jesus. I'm gonna put this. Okay, I need to die first. Okay, the slate reflector uh, does help. Whoa, okay. The assault rifle is just a beast, even with this build. This is obviously for close range encounters. Look at this. Okay, <laughs> cold just literally made me a new asshole. Let's see if those. Uh, nah, there's literally no difference. The ADS is still. Very slow. This is uh, not meant to be a close range gun or a zippy gun. But it is very strong. That's for sure. So I think I know what I need to do with this gun. Make it work, you know. The assault rifle feels good, even with this build. Feels very good. Okay, so. Look at 
Let's see if this works now. Just need to die. Come on. Come over here. Oh man, dude. The gun hole perk is just amazing. Okay, let's see how it feels. And that magazine is just... Ah. I don't think this is meant for an aggressive player. You just need to hold an angle with this thing. But let's see how it feels though. I really want... Jesus! Okay, this is definitely... This build right here, if we put a suppressor on it... This is for long range, but I don't know if this is good enough. The recoil is non-existent, but I believe you need to put on the LMG for multiplayer. I'm, I'm talking here, the Sakura here. I want to test this also. Let's see if I have the time. Kill me already, okay? Oh come on! I want to see. Oh, this is a bit faster, okay? Well, I think uh, I think I I know, especially with the assault rifle. But with LMG, it definitely needs a lot more testing in a real game. So, in my opinion, these two guns are definitely worth upgrading, especially the assault rifle. Okay, but trust me, the LMG that have never been this strong, like in this game, even in Warzone. The brand is still kicking ass. All right, so definitely worth upgrading. I will suggest uh, go for whatever uh, gun is first, you know, at level 15, I believe. I think it's gonna be the Star Rifle, but I don't know exactly. Which one is first? Go for it, level up, and I think they're gonna be good, even in Warzone. So we're gonna test them in Warzone as well, on the 15, and I'm gonna do a live stream, so make sure to be there if you wanna see it in action. If you enjoyed this video, make sure, you know, to leave a like, obviously, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's all for me, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.